that bitch. Been that bitch, still that bitch. Will forever be that bitch. Forever be that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm the hood, Mona Lisa. Break a nigga into pieces. Had to ex some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza. Yeah. I'm way too exclusive. I don't shop on Insta boutiques. All them little ass clothes only fit fake booties. Bad bitch, still talking cash shit. Pussy like water, I'm a mother and relaxing. I would never trip on a nigga if I had him. Bitch, that's my trash. You the maid, so you bagged him. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. sassy, moody, hey. nasty, hey. Yeah. hacking, stupid, what was happening, what was happening, bitch, what was happening? What was happening? What was bitch I'm a savage, yeah, classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah, sassy, moody, nasty. Hello everyone and happy Friday, welcome to Miscommunications Talk Podcast, I am your host Queen Gemini, I am your uh, second humble and gracious host, DJ Lab, I am, no, I am Miss Gemini's assistant <laughs> host. Right. Yeah. There we have it. There we yeah. have it. What's going on, Miss? He the only one been dedicated. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. Dedicated. <laughs> dedicated host. There you have it. There you have it. There you yeah. have it. What's going on, Miss Gemini? Nothing much. Uh, been. I don't know. Uh. I don't know. Can you say I've been chilling? No, I really been chilling. Yeah, really I've been, been chilling. We just talked just, about how hard it is yeah. going to school, juggling work. I've been kids. life been lifeing. We gotta say that. Life. life been lifeing. Okay. That's what I okay. was. So we just talked about how hard yeah. all those things were. So you definitely have not. No, been chilling. I ain't been chilling. Definitely ain't been chilling. I don't even know what that is right now. <laughs> okay. Definitely haven't been chilling. So let's get it right. Yeah. Um, oh, and just so you all, if you're all wondering, we had to go back to Meg Thee Stallion, <laughs> Savage, because we don't want to get kicked off. Um, right. <laughs> you know, we were, we we had sampled Nikki a little bit, but we, we go immediately blocked. <laughs> right. So we going we gonna to stick to Meg. Meg is going to be our go-to. That's right. That's right. That's she feel right. like the only safe one right now. So <laughs> we going to. We're going to play it safe. We're going right. to play it safe. That's what we try to do. We try to make sure all our videos are seen and not blocked by the powers that be. Right. Namely. Yeah. Cause, Jay-Z. Yeah. Because <laughs> Jay-Z say something and it is lights it is off. Long. It is long. Lights is off. We're going to get to that. How Light. is uh, school treating you? School is okay. Um almost finished so school is okay that's great see yeah <laughs> had an eight month program so you know yeah i'm almost finished so yeah okay okay what else we got what else so, we got going oh okay go ahead i'm sorry <laughs> i was gonna say something but we get to it yeah so yeah school is almost done um and stuff like that excited about that and being a mom a <laughs> supportive significant other right, right um all the things that are part of being a family right a family unit yeah so. <laughs> as my sister say y'all being a family <laughs> trust and believe when it's all said and done i'm going to be on someone's beach preferably not jamaica because <laughs> i heard y'all over there kidnapping people oh, so really? i'm gonna stay away whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> they kidnapping people in jamaica now yeah they got a travel advisory so we're gonna go ahead and stay away from that uh no cruise ships or nothing can go to jamaica now i'm not sure i they didn't say cruise they just said if you personally is flying to jamaica stay away Really? So we're gonna stay away from Jamaica. I want to wow. come back. I want to be safe. So ain't, ain't nobody coming back to Jamaica. What's old is what's new. <laughs> and I wanted to go on to Jamaica too. That was on my bucket list. You, hey, you know that's a black folks' uh, holiday, hol- I mean, vacation destination, right? Right. Like I really wanted to go. That was I was gonna do that this year. Cause they, you know, they think Jamaica where you can just smoke weed freely. They don't know it's illegal over there. Nah, I can't even go. Cause I'm gonna get kidnapped. <laughs> And the Bob Marley movie coming out. Right. You can't go visit the places that they talk about in the movie or nothing now. Can't even go. Dang it. 2024 is an emotional roller coaster. You don't know which way you headed. Right. Which way. I All mean, y'all women can't go see, go, get y'all no Winston. Single <laughs> women I'm talking about. Man, All that's y'all see crazy. Can't go get a Winston or nothing. Can't even go. I didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. This Came is out a few, new. few days ago. 
They had a travel advisory said, uh, don't travel to Jamaica. So if you plan to travel to Jamaica in the next few months, don't go. Because they said they are kidnapping people and robbing people and all of the above. Dang. They robbed me. They going to be practicing because I ain't got shit. <laughs> I ain't got shit. So they, they, they doing the same thing they, they doing in Mexico. Ain't they kidnapping people in mm-hmm. like Colombia and stuff like that? I don't even know why we want to go to Colombia. But ain't they kidnapping people in Mexico from what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, pretty much everywhere right now. <laughs> right, <laughs> pretty much everywhere. Nowhere I mean, safe. You might as well stay at the crib, right, and decorate your room as a beach. Hey, you know they got those videos <laughs> on YouTube where you can walk around any city or you can bike around any city. Just get you a YouTube video, put it on your exercise bike, a green drive, screen, your, right, your ride green your, screen, <laughs> ride your bike <laughs> through the streets of London, and I do it all the time. Oh, yeah. I'm like, always in somebody's city on my on my exercise bike right from the basement. Look like that's what's gonna have to happen. Right. So keep, yeah. guess we're gonna have to keep traveling the Hilton Head. <laughs> well, <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> well, everybody go Destiny. Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the Miami. Only safe hell. You can't Louisiana. even go to Miami. Miami Beach. Oh really? Tripping. I'm like man. Man, they, you can't go to Miami. Well, you know they had that travel advisory out for Florida a while back. Yeah. You don't know black folks need to go to Florida because, you know, when you step yeah. over the Florida Georgia line, it's like 1954 over there. Right. <laughs> That's what I heard. I'm like, man, I, everywhere I said I want to go, I got a passport, too, and I can't oh, even use you it. You can't use that thing. <laughs> I can't even use it. I just got it last year. Like, Dang, you I was ready for it, I too. was. I was ready. You I was like, ready to go. Before I'm going to Jamaica. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going. And they like, no, no Jamaica. Yeah, my birthday in May, and I had all these plans. I can't was go, like, can't go to DR no more. For what I understand, I heard they kidnapping folks in the DR too. I'm like, this is crazy. I saw a video on YouTube. The guy was walking around the DR. You no, know, he walking. He's like, man, you know, I'm kind of walking around here alone. I need to be careful. I'm like, well, why would I want to go somewhere? And he like, I gotta make sure I got my, my camera close so nobody won't ride by on a bike and snatch. I guess the only safe place you can go is what? Uh, uh, you can't even be in Atlanta like that, can you? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Where, where are we going to go? Where are we going? The kitchen to the bedroom. Right. Turn on That's, TV. It. <laughs> That's it. That's it. From the kitchen to the bedroom. I'm the only, I'm the only two safe bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. Oh, well, and, well, bedroom, bathroom, <laughs> kitchen. Them the only safe places you can be. You can't even be in the family room, living room no more. It might be some trouble. Right? You right. <laughs> you right. Man, I can't believe they kidnapped folks in Jamaica, though. That's sad. That's sad. Well, That's I'm going to have to find somewhere else safe to go, I guess. Yeah. Is Barbados safe? Where's that at? Shit, I don't know. And I know is that's where Rihanna from. Well, I don't know. I ain't never said I wanted to go to Barbados. <laughs> I ain't never one time woke up and said, you know what? I want to go to Barbados. I'm trying to go get me a trip to Barbados <laughs> this year. I ain't I, never said that. I want to go to Dubai, too. I want to go to Dubai. Nah, Dubai is supposed to be all right. Okay. We gonna, we gonna, I'm going to pull up some safe places to go. Yeah, pull up the safe places to go. Yeah, see go how to take Jamaica off that list. We're going to see how the crime rate Cause is. Because they kidnapping folks in Jamaica, so we can't go there no yeah. more. Yeah, we're going to see how the crime rate is, so... You know, the exotic places, all the black folks want to go to Jamaica, Dubai. Dubai's still okay on the list. Mm-hmm. I think, we, I think Jam- they going to bar us from going to Bahamas. I think they don't even want our black ass in Bahamas no more because we go so much. Bahamas, so Puerto Rico. <laughs> You're right. The DR. Mm-hmm. I'm, Cancun. Cancun. Everybody go to Cancun. Yeah. 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 So they probably going to, them, them few places, they probably going to bar us from coming to. It ain't going to be a kidnap situation. It's going to be just, you can't come. So, yeah. Well, that, well speaking of Dubai, I, don't, I, I know you heard it. But did you know John Queese and Trey Songz got into a fight in Dubai? Now in you, Dubai? You niggas is showing out in Dubai. We ain't, we ain't going to be able to go over there soon. So R&Bs. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas is fighting in Dubai. The r and the R and B's are thugging it in Dubai. In Dubai, you just couldn't food. wait to come back to Atlanta. You had to go to Dubai and fight. I, you know what? I saw something about that, and Jacquees said Trey Songz pulled out a dread. He pulled out a couple of dread. So he, he pulled out. out. He he snatching weave like bitches. He pulled, <laughs> <laughs> he pulled out a couple.
couple of dreams. <laughs> he hey. put the hands swinging wild. <laughs> Why is you pulling this man here? Why? I Why? It was like an R&B duo. He, uh, Jacquees said he calls, he refers to Trey Songz as his brother. Right, okay. He said, I thought you was my brother. I watched a video where he was pouring out his emotions yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. He said, I thought you was my brother, man. He said, but you know what? You can't even come back to Atlanta no more. He said, you can't perform nowhere in Atlanta because I'm crashing your shit and I'm whooping your ass. That's uh -huh. what he said, allegedly. Um, uh -huh. But this, this, I got my hat on back. Why didn't tell me I don't know how to do I thought the tag was supposed <laughs> to be like that. You know, some hats got tags out. I'm serious. Why? But, uh, but yeah, he said, you can't even come back. I'm going to just turn it around. You can't even come back to Atlanta. You don't want everybody know who's supposed to be like that. <laughs> so uh, I just seen it in the camera. But he said, yeah, you can't even come back to Atlanta because I'm crashing your city. And every time I see you, I'm whooping your ass. On site. On site. What? I want to see you fight. I is y'all fighting? I want to see how... What was the fight about? Lip so, and so, baby oil be slinging around. Allegedly, Trey Songz said to Jacquees, you got on somebody else's clothes. Uh-huh. Jacquees said, no, I ain't got nobody else's clothes. Uh-huh. Trey Songz in the club announcing himself being a hater. This is what this is what Jacquees said. Mm -hmm. We ain't heard Trey Songz version. You know, you never hear from Trey. Right. We don't right. know what Trey got going on. Right. Right. But Jacquees said he all in the club announcing himself. He dancing. You know, all this feeling himself. Mm -hmm. Jacquees yells out, "Raper!" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the beef went from there. Why is y'all, you know, Jacquees and Nikki so right Jacquees now. Jacquees started it. So Jacquees, Jacquees started Jacquees and Nikki right now is on the same level. Both of y'all petty as fuck. <laughs> Both of y'all petty as hell right now. Well, maybe Jacquees drinking out of Nikki's cup because Nikki they, been petty. They got to be doing something. Allegedly, that she been petty, but for real. But allegedly, not for real. They both sniffing yeah. the same crack. Right. Something is wrong. Yeah. Something is wrong. Something is off. I mean, you got to think about those Jacquees, though. When the last time you heard his name mentioned? When the last time you heard Trey song, little song name mentioned? When they was talking about Raper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's the only time I heard about when, Trey when was when he was in the paper with someone. He's he supposed to have been raped somebody. Right. He got Touching a long rap sheet of rape. Uh, inappropriately. Yeah. So that's the last time you heard them. Them not too good. Them not too good. Uh. News reference. <laughs> I mean, you ain't heard about Jacquees at all. Mm -mm. No, it's been a minute. What's I seen him on song? a couple of flyers, and that was it. What's the last song you heard hear him made? My bed. Who Jacquees? Yeah. That's that ain't Jacquees. Who's that? That's somebody else. Well, shit, they all sounds. Yeah, that's somebody else. I ain't. I, I don't even know Jacquees. So can you name a Jacquees song? No. That you was like, hell yeah, that's Jacquees. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't even know Jacquees' songs right now. Just it's like, like one song you Somebody had to refresh my memory because I really don't even know what he sings for real. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's why he trying to get his name in the news because you don't even remember laying down his songs. Uh -huh. I'm going to see if I can find one. It's going to take me a minute. I don't, yeah, I really don't even know what he's saying. Do anybody know what Jacquees sings? Because I don't. Not I'm, just random shit that a that a fan would know, like uh, the last hit he had. Yeah, what was the last hit he actually had, and like, when? Like he was on the radio, he was like, "Oh shit, here come that, here come that new Jacquees joint." Yeah, no, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not for sure. I don't want to laugh, but I'm just saying, like last time he was like, "Hell yeah, I've been waiting on this shit to come on the radio all day." Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Say you not sure. Mm -mm. It was it before the pandemic. Yeah, real before the pandemic. <laughs> like, I, I mean, but know. shit. On that same instance, when the last time you said yourself, you know what? That's that. That's that goddamn Trey Song joint right there. I've been waiting on that shit all day to come on the radio. Lately, no, not lately, but they still play Trey hits. Okay, okay. So we do know Trey Zone is relevant a little bit. Yeah, because they play Say I. They play uh, um, The Neighbors Know My Name. Okay, okay. We just try to figure out what Jacquees can then, then, yeah. then got one good hit in. Let me see. I got some Jacquees right here. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you. I told you. Uh, 
bed. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, they still play that on the radio. Okay, yeah, they still play that on the radio. Shit, when was I, that? When that come out? Shit, I that forgot. was 2015. <laughs> I forgot that was even his song. See, you thought it was somebody else's song. That was his song. But they still should be fighting. Like I'm gonna need you bitches to get it together. <laughs> I'm just about to say that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to get it together. Stop pulling hair. Stop, Stop pulling, pulling hair. hair and get it together. I, I I saw a video. Maybe it wasn't the same video, but Jacquees was saying something about you can you get mad at me, my brother, about a bitch. Yeah, that was the same video. Oh, okay, it was the same video. So they were fighting over a girl. Probably so. Well, they could just probably both. Nine times out of just ten, about any girl. A lot of they be be over a girl. I mean, but they. I mean. But is this is is he crying about a girl that Ty, uh, Trey raped or what? Or is he? That's what I'm saying. Is he crying about? Or is he saying that Trey was mad at him about a girl he was hitting on? Or I don't sitting know. With? I don't know. We gonna have to dig deeper into it because she must be bad as hell. Then she got to be because he getting his dress pulled out. <laughs> she got to be. She got to be fine. Maybe maybe they wasn't deep in there. Maybe he needed a new touch up. So maybe they was hanging by the roots anyway. He need to take that shit out. They hang it on literally by a thread. <laughs> he got plenty of money. Literally by a thread. He need to go see Snoop uh, Dread person. Snoop Dread be tight every <laughs> day, don't they? Somebody need to. He needs some hair growth. Something. Hems. He Hems. needs uh, something. Him. He, he needs something. Because his dress is literally hanging on by a thread. He been stressed out. It's, <sighs> it's stressed with him and Trey. That nigga gonna be walking around here talking about some. He needs some miracle drops, some miracle growth <laughs> or something. Because he... That well, these is, celebrities, man, they can't just take their money and shut up. Mm-mm. No, they got to fight it did, out. Did you hear... Oh, speaking of fighting it out, but did you hear uh, that uh, Lotto and... Um, what's that girl name? Ice Spice. Ice Spice. But they've been beefing for a while. Yeah. They've been beefing for a good few years now. I don't think I don't think Ice Spice really realized that Lotto had been doing rap like for real, for real, for a for long while. time. Like she really can't yeah. rap. It's not We we learned about Lotto shit. It's been years. We learned about Lotto when she was on uh what's his the name? Rap game. Yeah, the rap game. And yep. Her name was Mulatto. Mm-hmm. Miss Mulatto or something like yep. that. So, so we learned about a lot of a long time ago. And so. she write her own raps and everything. So I don't know if Miss Munch want to take a bite of that, but she more than welcome to. I, yeah, I, I mean, get them, keep her it on uh, and sexy red. Nah, sexy red ain't got no problem with Lotto, do she? Um, <clears throat> they all got a problem with each other. It's just, it just, it, yeah. We gonna move on. Cause why can't Lotto, Why can't sexy red just take? Take her winnings. <laughs> I can't say it's who signed her. Jesus. <laughs> no, she Jesus prayed. couldn't have possibly she sign her. Like, but who really signed her? I don't know. Who signed Ice Spice? Who signed these people? I know Ice Spice is signed to something, but I couldn't tell you who. Who? You know what? And I respect. I don't listen to her music, but G Glorilla, she mm -hmm. stay out of a lot of the beef. She do. She stay out of a lot of the beef. She so, do. But oh, really do stay out the beef. Yeah. So she say her little one twos and she be she, she be stay, on. Her, she, she be stay gone. Out her little beast, to... her little biz and keep it popping. Yeah. She stay out of a lot of the stuff. So I, I I respect her, but she need to teach the rest of them that's up and coming to sit their ass down somewhere. But well, she might up. be guilty by association. Who? Uh, Glorilla, cause she like Lotto. She hang out with Lotto. You know, that would I, be the best bet to hang out with somebody that got a little more experience you know, than I, I do. I don't know if you know this because you ain't. Well, you from Michigan? No, I'm from Wisconsin. Wisconsin, same yeah. thing. Same area, Michigan, <laughs> Wisconsin, Chicago, all the same fucking place. Yeah. You know how when you in, in gang territory, mm -hmm. you might not be in the gang, but, but guess what? Guilty by association. You guilty. You in the gang because you live in that neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. the same thing. She hang out with Lotto, so she guilty because she hang out with Lotto. Yeah. So I mean, the best bet is to hang out with somebody that has a little more experience than I do. Right. I w I would want to learn from somebody that's been in the game longer than me. Somebody that got bars too. Yeah. That literally and that has... actually writes their own stuff. Right. So I yeah, think that's smart. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I commend Glow because 
Yeah, I mean, that was a smart move on her behalf. Instead of beefing with her, let me get on her level. Uh-huh. I don't know. I just think that uh, Ice Spice and Sexy Red just need to keep it pushing. Just don't take a bite of that apple. It's got worms and poison in it. Sexy Red needs to sit her ass down. You really don't like that. I do not like you that really girl. Don't like that girl. I do not like that girl. <laughs> and I'm just so for real. I do not like that girl. I don't like her, and I didn't tell her and Krishan to stay out the damn media for <laughs> well, 2024. She, well, she did okay. She doing this. Tw- she ain't really heard much about Krishan or I. I mean, you must ain't been on social media in a few uh, days, because uh, Krishan fucking stupid ass and put another damn tattoo on her face, a blue face. Oh my god, no, I ain't seen that. Yeah. So, Blueface, cause, yeah, that was something on my list to talk about. Blueface baby mamas in competition with each other, putting tattoos on their body of this man. This man got some type of, some type of spell. <laughs> you you up are his, pissed off. This ain't put, acting, y'all. He's <laughs> pissed the fuck off. Something is on these chicks that they like so much. She done had a whole boyfriend before this man went to jail. Had a whole boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Then allegedly moved on, then got his name removed from her neck, whatever. She then got her teeth fixed that had his face on it. Now your dumb ass goes and stick a whole fucking big ass tattoo of his face on the side of your face? I do not like these Did you people. ever see the video, the video or the documentary or something, uh, Blueface, when he used to have all those girls in the house? Mm-mm. And then he woke him up one morning and said, Alright, y'all, come on. It's time for y'all to get y'all get 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 that tattoo, get my name tattooed on y'all. And it was about five or six of them, and they all woke up to go get his tattoo on them. Like it's a pimp. Probably the same stupid bitches. Yeah, it was like five. Cause or six right now them. it's three in the running. It's it's Krishan, it's his baby mama Jada, and it's another chick. Uh-huh. We don't know who the fuck this other chick is. She came out of nowhere and said, Yeah, blue face is, I'm his baby mama. I'm just the one that they don't talk about. Girl, don't come out now. <laughs> <laughs> well, she can't let everybody else get famous. She don't we get don't no come fame. out now. We don't want to know. Man, we don't want to know. You know, I don't want to know. I nothing. think it's the year. Uh, I think it's the year of bullshit. It's gonna the bullshit just gonna keep rolling downhill for the rest of the year. It's just annoying. It's yeah, hell. it's only gonna get worse as the year. Wait till the summer months come. Ooh, it's gonna be hot bullshit. <sighs> you know, you know how we. When you be walking in your yard and you smell somebody dog that shit in your yard and it's hot and stanky, that's what it's gonna be for the rest of the summer. I'm telling you. Y'all, we shit. only we are two months in. And right. This is Black History Month. Y'all need to calm the fuck this down. Right here. This, calm the fuck down. They not gonna do it. Calm the fuck down. They not gonna Cat do didn't, it. Cat then kicked it off. Ah, see, see what I'm saying? <laughs> see how Twin Twin Four started. Cat, well, no, let me take you back. My church kicked it off. Look, your then church. Cat, Cat then kicked it off. Your church then kicked it off with the wet swag. Surfing, surfing and the walking the out. <laughs> your church kicked <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Your church kicked it off with the swag, surfing, walking it out into the new year. We should know right there that Jesus was letting this year go. <laughs> <laughs> we right we need a Jesus total. We need a, already given up on 2024. We need a total reset. <laughs> a total reset. Can we go back to December 31st, 2023? Jesus looked at. We need a reset. Jesus looked at 2024. Said, "You know what? Fuck it." Uh, he said, "Fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Fuck it. He looked at 2024. He said, "You know what? I, I'm gonna go start working on 2025." <laughs> right. Right. <sighs> Right, Cat was spitting though. My name Show said, Cat, what's up, my name Show? He said, Cat was spitting though. He was spitting. Guess who next up on Shay Shay? Oh, Usher. No, no, no. Who? Monique. Oh, but Usher coming too. He already did Usher's. Oh, he did Usher? Okay. Oh, Monique. Oh, yeah, she say, got some say, shit she to say. Can't say. She got some shit to say. Yeah. She got some shit to say. Ain't it amazing how he get all the people to talk? Yeah, when you got a little spice in your tank, you can get everybody oh, oh, to uh, oh, 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 talk. Oh, oh. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, yeah. he might just like wearing tight clothes, getting yeast infections. You don't know. And that. hanging out with that same dude at every day. Allegedly, okay. Allegedly, y'all. Okay, honey. We have no proof of this. Okay, honey. These are these Look. are <laughs> these are accusations and insinuations. Okay, so why your podcast couldn't be Club Shannon Sharp or Club Shannon? <laughs> why y'all why like gotta it? be why Club y'all, Shay Shay? Y'all hating on that man podcast. Why gotta be Club Shay Shay? I'm just saying you can't. He, 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 Club Shay Shay. 
Okay. That's what they call him when he played football. Yeah, that's what the girls call him. <laughs> Y'all can't depend on that man, that man, uh, podcast name. The girls, the girls call him that. Club Shay Shay. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, just okay. saying, think about it now. Okay. He getting everybody sports. He getting everybody, yeah. He is. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He getting everybody for sure. <sighs> for sure, for sure. I'm definitely going to tune in to the Monique one, though. Yeah, it's um, going to be some TTT. I'm, oh, yeah. She ain't going to do nothing but confirm everything that Cat said. Yeah. That's all she going to do. That's why I want to watch it. But you know what? Mike Epps did a comedy special. He said the same thing Cat said. He said, but did he lie, though? Oh. Yep. I seen that. Mm. I seen that. He said, did he lie, though? He said he could have threw my name in there because I want a little clout. But he said, <laughs> did he lie, though? Right. <laughs> he said, me and that nigga smoke weed together. Uh-huh. But he said he didn't lie about nothing. Oh. Oh. So... Uh, Club Shay Shay Shannon Sharp I think you need to get Mike too <laughs> Guess Mike, Mike, Mike got some stuff to say Hey He already had Country Wayne on there Country Wayne say he paid for his baby mama Vacations and stuff He That man paid He do a lot for his baby mamas That man does a lot for his baby mamas A lot no. I don't know I, I can't say I, I call 50 cap on them, some of it But hey I mean, I seen something where he bought his baby mamas all a car. He bought them all a car. All oh, ten of them. How many baby mamas he's got? I think he only got all five. I think he got all five. I got five baby mamas. Yeah, them was all tax write offs though. And he got ten kids, right? So he got two yeah. by each. Yeah, them all tax write offs. Yeah, yeah, of course she, they are. Young Jock got a lot of damn kids and do for all his baby mamas. All them niggas pull out games be weak. <laughs> As hell. <laughs> As they, hell. They, they be practicing like, you know what? I've been practicing. <laughs> Look down at him, be like, I tell him to herself in his mind, I've been practicing, I've been practicing my pull-out game. She look good and shit, like, ooh, I'm getting it. And then as they saying it, they, they finna get ready to bust that nut. And they be like, my pull-out game, up. Uh. Well, maybe next, <laughs> maybe next time, I'll work a little bit harder until it'll be too late. Nigga don't realize how that pull-out game gotta be. It gotta be timed just right. Nigga, come out when you know you getting, it's getting ready to happen. <laughs> They be wanting to wait for that little that little tingle. Come the out. Tingle if you is too late. Feel it building up. <laughs> come, it's time to pull out. Don't pull out afterwards. No. The fuck? They pulling out in the in the middle. They be trying to tap in no. the middle. This is what other parts of the body is for. I'm just saying though, Put like, it there. Don't put it inside of me. Put it there. But with Gemini, like when you you know, you got this like you got this lady you've been trying to get. She fine. She smelling good. She looking good. Oh, so you want a baby? No, you don't <laughs> want a baby. So you want a baby? But your pullout game becomes weaker as you as eat, with each individual stroke. <laughs> it's like kryptonite. So you got you got sucker by a big butt and a smile. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. There you so go. now you got nineteen year eighteen years of problems. Hey, sometimes because of a big butt and a smile. Sometimes you niggas is weak. <laughs> So, sometimes <laughs> you niggas is weak. I'm not saying that it don't. I'm not saying that we, our intentions were to do that. But as you stroking, it's like like I was gonna say before you uh, uh really interrupted me with your analogy. <laughs> as the kryptonite gets closer to Superman, the weaker he gets. So as each individual stroke we get in. The weaker our pull out game gets. That's all I'm saying. You niggas is weak. Especially if it's if it's flowing right. Because you want a baby. That's what I feel. You want a baby. If you can't pull out, if your pull out game gotta be so weak that you can't pull out when you know it's coming, you is weak. And what what happens is you right, my name, so we do gotta get out of it. But what happens is we go, she gonna make a good mama. <laughs> And she gonna be the most toxic bitch ever, and y'all gonna be on Facebook, YouTube, <laughs> IG, Woo. like Blueface and his baby mom. <laughs> Crazy, fighting every day. Or you have because now voice. you talking about some she gonna make a good baby mama, and she got your baby on there snorting a line of coke. But you, okay. But <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. On that note, I, I quit. <laughs> Cause she made a good baby mama. Now. Okay, yeah. You know what? 
Yeah. We need to practice our pull. I can't look. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I keep nothing in the pe- bitches. Keep nothing in them. Keep nothing, nothing in these toxic hoes. <laughs> you gonna be on Facebook to some see man my baby mama on here tripping and it, 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 this and it and now we gotta watch 30 minutes of your live video talking about your baby mama cause you couldn't pull out <laughs> the fuck this is some bullshit a wear condom how about that that's what you need to do yeah. for real for real yeah yeah you right you for right. real for real you right or, on that or, or had a plan B on a dressing Damn. Had a plan B in hand. All right, bitch, here, take this. <laughs> Crush it up and put it in a juice. <laughs> no, take this. <laughs> now. Matter of fact, take two. <laughs> hey, but you do have the ones who pull you closer when it's about to come. They pull you in closer to them. Don't. I don't give a fuck about none of them analogies. <laughs> pull out. Pull out. What the plane say when it's about to crash? Pull up. Pull up. Right. Pull out. Terrain. Terrain. Because I know you know when it's coming. So. Oh, we damn sure know. Yeah. Hell, a, a girl know. At that particular moment, that's when we making our decisions. A, a, a bitch know. <laughs> if a bitch lay there and let somebody nut in her that she know for a fact ain't shit, both of y'all ain't shit. Look, look. Now you're going to be walking around with your baby mama looking like sexy red and Krishan. <laughs> Look. Ratchet as fuck. The ratchet hoes be though doing some fucking freaky ass shit. That's why them niggas could pull out. All right. Well. <laughs> the ratchet hoes be like. You gonna be in. like. The ratchet hoes be like nut in me, then put it in my mouth type shit. You be like, oh shit, I ain't never had that before. <laughs> so he said pull out and pull in her, get put it in her hair. Right. <laughs> My yes. nigga said, I would prefer, it, put it in I would prefer you to put it in my hair <laughs> than to put it in me. I would prefer that. I would prefer <sighs> anywhere on my body. You can, on my ass, on my leg, my whatever. Do not nut in me. If we know we not gonna be together that hey. long, do not nut in me. Hey, okay, we gonna we gonna I'm gonna say this then we're gonna move on. I watched um uh, P, uh, P, uh, Pino porno okay. one time mm-hmm. and got at, he was getting it and this girl was fine as hell like she was fine in the motherfucker and she and it's like he got ready to nut he pulled out and this nigga started peeing all over <laughs> I said that's a lot of nut <laughs> that's nasty <laughs> right that's nasty so is it <laughs> is it nut or is it pee, pee? <laughs> nigga if you piss on me <laughs> I'm gonna be on the first 48. <laughs> they be like, what happened? Oh, we was into it. And I thought the nigga nutted. And then I seen golden showers and I blanked out. <laughs> and after that, I don't know what happened. I felt like he was trying to R. Kelly me. So I, I said, fuck it. <laughs> and I just stabbed him. That was to say, I blanked out. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what happened, well, sir. Well, Miss Gemini Queen, you, you blanked out to the tune of 128 stab wounds. <laughs> hey, I, I was timing the number, the, the amount of pee he pissed on me. So he pissed on me for 26 minutes, so I stabbed him 26 times. <laughs> so that's what happened. I'm sorry. We don't condone violence on this podcast. We're just giving scenarios. <laughs> Versus if it's pee or if it's nut. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen? Well, no, we situation? don't condone violence, but if you pee on me, hey, <laughs> no telling. What happened? And then he'd be like, I don't know what happened. And I'd be like, me neither. <laughs> it would feel like nothing. Then all of a sudden, look. And then I'm going to have to write your mama this letter. <laughs> Ma'am, I am truly sorry. That's what he say. I squirted. <laughs> Nigga, if you, if a nigga tell me he squirted. <laughs> Miss Gemini. That nigga, if a nigga tell me he squirted, I'm done with all niggas. <laughs> Damn. You done with the whole species. You going straight. Because you don't supposed to be doing that. <laughs> you don't supposed to be doing that. I'm sorry, y'all. So is we fucking bitches around here? We fucking niggas. What is we doing? Maybe that's what Trey Song and uh, I don't know. Queens was arguing about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Who squirted the most? 
I don't Just know. Like pulling out dreads and shit. I, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, you niggas need to stop acting like bitches. That's what it is. Exactly. That's exactly okay, what it is. Okay, we off that stuff. <laughs> that was funny though. We that was a good segment. What's going? What else we got going on? <sighs> Full reviewer Keith Lee. Uh huh. Very. He became very very popular over the last few years. So you know he goes to different restaurants and rate their food. If uh -huh. if the food is great, you know he give you a good review. It's called the Keith Lee effect. Mm -hmm. Next day, your shit out the door. Right. He went to go visit a food truck in Dallas, Texas called Sweetly Seasoned. Mm -hmm. Gave her a scale on, of 10. He told her to leave $1,000. There was a guy out there. He was cutting hair, mm -hmm. you know, doing haircuts. There was another chick. She was out there braiding. He said, leave $1,000 to the barber. Leave $1,000 to the braider. You take 2000 You feed the rest of the people for the rest of the day. Okay. This dumb bitch. Then took all of the money because he left the four thousand dollars. Then took all of the money, said I'm not giving it to no barber, no nothing. He told her to feed everybody free for the rest of the day. This bitch only fed three people and made everybody else pay. Wow. It wasn't us, was it? How, yes. Damn it. And this bitch is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. How dare you embarrass us like that? <laughs> You from Milwaukee, you moved to fucking Dallas and you fucking embarrass us like that? <laughs> Bitch, we already on the map for looking bad. <laughs> <laughs> you done made it worse. Right. What <laughs> the fuck? Maybe it's the water coming from Flint down. I don't know what the fuck 2024 got going on, but I don't like it. I told you what Jesus said. He said, you know what? I'm Jesus definitely working. said, you know what? <laughs> The pastor done fucked up, so fuck it. I'm going to go talk about 2025. I don't let these raggedy ass niggas have 2024. What the fuck? What in the hell is going on? Wow. And she said this live on her page. She said, I don't owe y'all nothing. He left me that $4,000. Wow. So now this dumb bitch ain't got no food truck because her shit stay permanently closed now. <laughs> What she thought she was gonna be able to just take the money and, and still have a business? She don't know how the Keely effects can work both negatively and positively. Exactly, exactly. I mean, like, if this man gave your food truck a ten and he asked you to feed these people for the rest of the day, don't you know you just fucked up your blessing? Because, because you that could have blessed five thousand dollars a day. That because. If this man say the food is good, people go off of what he said. Mm -hmm. Oh, Keith Lee said the food is great. Let's go try this. Don't you know people travel for all over the world to come taste different foods? Mm -hmm. Now, nah, bitch, you ain't even got no and food truck. Everybody going to Texas? Yes. They trying to make Texas into the next black mecca. So, all she the black is. folks going to Texas. So, why wouldn't you just do right? Because you know you're going to make some money. She dumb. Greedy. Dumb. Dumb. And like I said, you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so it's to be expected, stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> now you ain't got no now you just got four thousand dollars. You ain't making no money no day, tomorrow, next At week. All. No more money for you. You could have took that money that you had made from the people he told you to feed for free and the people from there and took it and fixed your fucking chopped up ass makeup that you had on your face because you fucking looked dead as shit with the makeup that was caked on your face. <laughs> so you could have took that and got you a makeup artist or something. Now you need that to start over. Damn. So, yeah. Well, sometimes you got sometimes you got to teach them a lesson. They, you can't just tell them. You got to teach them a lesson. People are so fucking stupid. I don't Greedy. know. What, I don't know what y'all drinking in this damn water, but it's stupid. Not working for the long game. Working for the right now game because the long game gonna tell you if you know what's going on with the Keith Lee effect. You be like, you know what? This four thousand dollars don't mean shit at all. Cause I'm probably gonna make four thousand dollars and and. Shit, four, five times in the next two two days. You know what I'm saying? I just seen people, the Keith Lee effect happened so much that people didn't ran out of food. Right. People done had to hire more people to come help. And now, bitch, you say permanently closed because you want to be greedy. Because people stop going there. Cause, cause, all because she want to be greedy. All you had to give was some people that $1,000. That little $1,000 wasn't going to hurt you. Right. 
That little thousand dollars wasn't going to hurt you. It didn't hurt her because it didn't come from her. At all. At all. It and for you to... Him. It's not like they, she, he said, hey, I'm Keith Lee. I'm here. Your crime going to be long tomorrow. Get everybody down. Now. He get said it. to her, he said, I will advise you to get more help because tomorrow... He said, I'm not going to, it could be a possibility that mm. you may run out of food mm. or the line may be crazy. Right. He said this to her. But because you want to fumble the bag and fumble and be stupid and stingy, now look at you. You ain't got no food truck. You just got a truck with food on it. She got what she deserved then. Hey. Stupid ass bitch. Stupid ass bitch. <laughs> Now, we're going to move on because she's dumb. Yeah. Um, that's frustrating, though. As hell. That's frustrating. Because you make black people look real bad. And not only that, you don't know business. Like, why would I... It's not even business. It's greed. Yeah, that's why, greed. But it's still business because why would I fumble? Why would I be so fumble greedy for this yeah. $1,000 when I can make ten four thousand mm dollars $4,000? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep, yo, yo, it could have doubled the next day. Right. So that four thousand that you got could have doubled the next day. Right. And tripled the day after that. Now you gotta stretch that four thousand. Cause you ain't got no yeah, you got a whole a whole truck with food. No long game. Just right now game. Stupid as hell. And then you wanna go on uh Instagram and TikTok and cry. Oh, she wasn't crying, was yeah, she? Yeah, crying oh, she tears. She said I don't owe y'all nothing. Crying tears. Just someone come get your money. Good. I wouldn't even want the money now. I wouldn't even want it. Uh, West Side Misfits say people can't see that far. Yeah, you're right. Especially if they're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> I think it's <laughs> well, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Y'all need to start looking further down the line. That's yeah. why I had to get out of Milwaukee, because y'all just make us look hella bad. Mm. Hella, hella horrible. Hella I'm horrible. glad I wasn't born in Milwaukee. I was just raised there. But y'all yeah. is a mess. Sometimes but, raised there is not good. Yeah, you're right. But I'm <laughs> glad I ain't, I ain't fall in the dumb tree. I felt I was hanging with the, the good people. You was hanging with the smart folks. I was in the church. With the good My folks. mama kept me in the church. Right. So You, you was with the PK kids. Yeah, yeah. You I was with, with the them. PKs. Yeah. All right, what else we got going on? So did you hear the uh, interview with Amanda Seals and Scrappy Baby Mama Bambi? No, I did not. So, Amanda Seals interviewed Bambi. Okay. Amanda Seals, in the middle of the interview, happened to drop the ball that, hey, did you know I used to sleep with Scrappy too? Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> how long ago was this? I don't know how long ago it was, but why she felt the need to tell this lady this, that's uh. something I probably would have took to my grave. Like, I mean, yeah, why, I'm like, why would you... In the middle of the interview, be like, "Hey, you always get that dick too." Like, and Bam was, "No, I didn't know." Right. Now you know, honey. <laughs> what was the purpose to get some shock value? I don't know what Amanda' purpose was. Um, I really don't care for Amanda like that because some of the stuff she say be off the wall. Uh -huh. Um. So yeah, I really, I just. Was she being messy? I don't know. I she, was, she had to be being messy because how long ago was it that she was dating? I mean, fucking scrappy. Like, how right. long ago was that? Was that doing... It had to have been before. Money in the bank? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't know. But I know Amanda could be very messy at times. Right. At times, she could be very messy. But I don't feel like that was something that you need to tell somebody that just divorced somebody. Right. Oh, now she divorced. Let me go ahead and drop this little bomb. That's Maybe like, that's what she was thinking. Well, she divorced. She ain't gonna care about this. That's something I would have just kept to my grave. Yeah, some things just don't need to be said. Because at the end of the day, regardless if they're divorced, that's still her baby daddy. But you know what it is, though? We talking about it. A lot of times it'd be just to get it, get the conversation, get get the name out there and talk about it. When the last time anybody said, man, I wonder what the man has got going on. <laughs> and what, she on Hollywood, she on uh, the... The show with um, DC Young Fly, Hollywood Squares. She on Hollywood Squares. That's the only thing she got going on, and right? And she has a podcast with um, some... Shit, my dog got a podcast. <laughs> and I don't even have one of them. Well, I'm just saying, like, podcast don't mean shit no more. Yeah, she... Yeah. Unless you Shay Shay. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I just wanted to know what was her purpose like. It was to get ratings. It was to be messy. That's just calling. It, speaking of messy, it's a lot of messy shit going on. Cause did you hear about the lady that caught her husband at the Atlanta airport with his mistress? Yeah, I heard about that. So you heard about the phone call she made to the flight attendant, the uh-huh. fl- uh, the flight reservation agent, uh-huh. flight reservation agent. She wanted to know. The lady called to ask when the flight was landing. Uh huh. The flight reservation agent said, could you give me the name of the person that you're looking for? Right. She said, why does that matter? The flight reservation agent said, could you give me the name of the person you're looking for? Right. Like she knew something. The lady gave the name. She said, oh, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Such and Such landed 20 minutes ago. Now, that was messy as fuck. (laughs) You think it was messy that she said, Mr. First of all. You, that's a, ain't that's, it ain't some type of rule or some law that you ain't supposed to give out that type of information anyway? I, You're not I don't supposed know. to tell who's on that flight? No, you're not. You're not supposed, all you're supposed to give is, if you give the flight number, you're just supposed to say flight such and such such landed. Landed such and such a time ago. ago. Yeah. That's all you should really supposed Why to say. Why you keep questioning this lady about her husband's name? Like, you know, he been on this flight multiple times. She probably know. Because a lot of times the flight attendants fly the same flights. Yeah, that was messy. And then she might have saw her bring him in or drop him off one time, kiss him at... You know, you never know what could be the, the situation. That's messy as hell. That is messy. It's messy. But sometimes Jesus... Because if be I like, want to cheat, I'm going to cheat in peace. Don't give out no information about me and whoever else But cheating. you don't know what Jesus want, want her to know. Jesus might have been like, well, you know Jesus what? Jesus clearly wanted her to know that her husband exactly. and that lady uh, flight landed 20 minutes exactly. ago. Exactly. Jesus she was all over Because she went up it. to that Atlanta airport and found them sitting in the bar with drinking. Right. Off her credit card. Exactly. Jesus was like, Cat Williams already messed up the year. Might well just, might well just go and get everybody shit out the window. So this the year of dropping bombs, I'm Dropping huh? bombs. That's dropping it. bombs over Baghdad. Right. Like. That's it. Cat Williams started off and Jesus was like, you know what? I'm just going to let it happen. I'm going to let the chips fall where they may. It's against the law to tell shit because what? Cause National security. National security, yeah. Yeah. It's like a security breach or something like that. You you giving out information. What if I'm wanted? What if I'm, what if somebody looking for me? What if somebody trying to kill me? Right. And you didn't tell these people well, my flight landed 20 minutes ago. Or what about my, my wife looking for me and I'm with my mistress? Well, that's what happened. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what happened. People like, got to know that they, they, for one, to be honest with you, people got to know that the the slick shit that they normally do can't happen that much no more. You're going to be on camera. Cameras are everywhere now. If the flight attendant went told, it would have been some. Let me tell you something. A lot of times when she happened. Oh, she would have known. Right. Because she said she went home. She opened that credit card. Uh, so, so allegedly that same day she that all of this came out with her husband and this chick mm-hmm. she went home she said something she never does is open the open bills because he usually pay for the bills right she said she went home and opened the bill her credit card bill she said she don't use the credit card because she used other credit cards because uh-huh. that's the credit card with him and her name on it okay um but she went home opened the bill come to find out that bill stated that he had been traveling this bitch all around the world <laughs> off of their credit card, buying her everything off of that credit card. And when she addressed the situation to him, this motherfucker had the nerve to say, Woo, I'm glad this shit came out. <laughs> well, he needed to get it off his chest. But but uh, from what I understand, this is a piece of it. He told her he wasn't breaking up with her and he ain't getting no divorce, right? He did say that. He did. He, he did. He a player. He got some fucking balls. He a player. He got some fucking balls. He must got a prenup too. I don't know. And he got him a younger chick. And the chick known too. She real known. She real known in Atlanta. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I did some research on her. Uh, oh. We well, can't say it. Well, let's not say her name. No, we don't say her name. But she real known. But yeah, what's that misfit say? That was a heavy, that was a heavy burden for him to carry. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I was just about to say, you think <laughs> you, you buy your mystery stuff off, man? <laughs> man. Well, let me open up one of my bills and I see trips to Dubai and and overseas and man, 
say you all in Louis Stop. Vuitton and Gucci and <laughs> off my credit card, sir? It's y'all credit card. He bought the Gucci and Louis Vuitton trips on, with his half. <laughs> He bought all that stuff for her with his hair. I wish a nigga would. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could have used your own credit card. <sighs> I wish a nigga would. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm trying to give you the, the gist of it. All that shit was bought with his half of the credit card. You tripping. It's a lot to keep coming up with lies. Yeah, because he told her he was going on a business trip for a week. Yeah. He told her he was going on a business trip for a whole week. Come to find out he with his mistress for a whole week. That is business. Gotta keep her happy, too. Obviously, he was doing a good job. She wasn't talking. Oh, yeah, because they had been together for a whole year. He wasn't snitching. She wasn't snitching or nothing. They had been together for a whole year. Right. So, he was doing his job. <laughs> he was doing his job. So, let's talk about Miss Fani Willis. <laughs> she admits to having a relationship with her colleague who is working on the Dato Trump case. Oh. What's going on, Trap House Meesey? Uh, congratulations on that song with Snoop Dogg. We heard it. It is D Bomb. Uh, you worked hard, brother. We've seen we've seen the growth, and we uh yeah, we salute you. We always gonna celebrate you, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. All right, go ahead. Sorry about that. that well, that's... I, don't, I don't know, but congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she uh admits to having relations with um. One of her colleagues that's working on the Donald Trump case. So, mm -hmm. yeah, her 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 shit about to come crumbling down too. Once she working, once she having sex with one of the managers for the YSL people too. I don't know. When it first started with the YSL case, apparently she was having sex with one of the managers. So all these rappers about to get out of jail because she, she is. Coach. Uh, yeah, they gonna start investigating all of this. Uh -huh. They gonna let all of them out. Uh, everybody, all of them about to get out. Slick talking about some, yeah. Uh, when she when she said something about, it, she said, yeah, uh, Thug in his jail dancing going woo hoo woo. I said, I don't know if that's gonna apply. He probably pretty yeah. He happy. He happy. He happy right now. Yeah. They all gonna vote for Trump. Oh yeah. <laughs> all, all that 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 yeah. They probably in there, he probably in there rubbing his hands together like karma's a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He he's seeing there singing. I've done a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, he about to get out. He about to be out. You think they finna dismiss all of it? <laughs> Cause she just too hot. She too hot for she TV. Hot trial. She probably just slept with the judge that's uh on the trial. Allegedly. Shit. No telling. That's probably why he need a service dog. Keep him calm. Keep his nerves calm. <laughs> he say he need a service dog. Yeah, you know he got a service dog to keep him calm. For real. He said, if you see my dog or you hear something rattling or any bells, that's my service dog. So he keep his service dog under the desk. Probably need that dog because his nurse <laughs> bad because he done fucked this bitch. And she can't seem to keep shit quiet. Right. So he know his name about to come up next. So, yeah. Uh, West Side Miss is her character zero now. It's, it's trash. It's trash. See, I said when she first started doing all this indictment, or rappers and all that stuff. She was trying to get her name out there so she could run for the mayor of the city, a governor or something. And at first, with all the tough on crime shit she had going on, she had the white folks. But now she didn't fucked up with Trump. <laughs> so yep. she ain't gonna get re she ain't gonna get reelected to nothing. She ain't gonna even be able to run for dog catching now. Mm-hmm. While she was trying to play that damn tough act, yeah, mm -hmm. y'all, you, you out here thotting and bopping. In the, court, in the court system. <laughs> Thotting and bopping. You made the judge so, get a service dog, and now you fucking Trump's lawyers. So now you got a question. How she how she get elected? Probably fucked her way in. Ooh, ooh. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, yeah. Allegedly, allegedly she yeah, fucked her way in. Yeah, let me calm down, because I am still in Atlanta, and it's been probably right. finding some shit on me. It's <laughs> 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 probably finding some shit on me. Right. Yeah, you being dying. Right. This is allegedly stuff, folks. We don't know for real. <laughs> You know, it seems like she might got hot coochie, but we don't know. See how quick they got Keisha ass up out of there. <laughs> Keisha left on her own though. Yeah, they was threatening that. Uh, really? Yeah, they was threatening Keisha. They was all at her house. Oh yeah, the people. Yeah. Yeah. She only ran. I, I never seen one Atlanta man. She probably ran about four months. <laughs> her 
whole trial. It's probably ran around four months. Wow. We seen Keisha in a few advertisements. And next thing you know, we seen the people outside her house. Yeah, Keisha's like, you know what? I ain't got time for this shit. Right. Go back to a regular citizen. They start pulling up shit on her. <laughs> Go back to a reg- reg- being a regular citizen. Wow. These niggas all outside my house threatening me and stuff. Wow. They done got Keisha ass up out of there real quick. And then we got Dre. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Right. They is not playing with y'all. These these rappers is about to be out. <laughs> and they about to be out. Going to be summertime <laughs> times in the city again. <laughs> Going to be like freak Nick right. folk. <laughs> right. These niggas is about to be out. They about to be out. There you have it. Hot yeah. tail snakes and camcorders. <laughs> they is about to be out. That's a conflict of interest across the board. Yeah. Yes. Conflict of interest. We're right, West Side Misfits. But yeah. She said she, it doesn't have nothing to do with the case. The case. No, nah, bitch. They got everything to do with the case. Because now we don't even trust you. Nut she swallowed and dick she sucked. Ain't got nothing to do with the case. We don't even trust you. Cause, hey. Because who you paying around here? How you paying? Is that really a service dog under that desk? Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> or is that why he got to take breaks all the time? Is that really a service dog right. under that desk? <laughs> 93 was the best year. Okay. I, I don't know. But I wasn't here. I wasn't here for 93. I wasn't either, but I'm just... I was right in out. Wisconsin. Right. Watching bitches take four thousand dollars, but <laughs> <laughs> right. right. But yeah, yeah, we we she yeah, she in hot shit now. Oh yeah, Trump about to he about to have filled that with this. Yeah, this one gonna this case gonna go away. Oh yeah. This, oh, this. it's gonna definitely go away. And he gonna be on the uh the the voting va- ballot. Yeah. yeah. But he on he on uh they 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 um uh, put the case on hold indefinitely. Her case? Yeah. Or Trump case? Trump Trump case. Oh, okay. That's just to start. Okay. Monday is going to be all her cases. <laughs> That's what I said. They about to go through all her stuff with a fine two comb. Right. They going to find some fuck ups and sleep ups. So all these rappers is about to be out. Yeah. They are definitely, and they case going to be dismissed. And ain't going to be shit on them. Ain't she married though? I don't know. I thought she was married. I don't married. think so. Not the way she fucking. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You can uh-huh. have a husband and still be fucking like that. You can, but shit. <laughs> Just don't, don't fuck your husband the same night and that's you know. I don't know. They say if you cheating and you and you fucking, you gotta come home and fuck like you ain't fucked before. I don't she know. She might bro. be going along with that program. Well he must not doing his job while she fucking everybody else. Hey. That's why her ass was angry in the beginning. That's probably it. That's exactly why she was angry. He wasn't doing his job. You don't know what she was she privy said. to. She said, Do- "Oh yeah, privy to doing pillow talk." Yeah, as far as the case is concerned. Yeah, that's true. Well, I guess we we'll wish see, you luck. We'll see. Uh, what's his name? What What's the rapper name? Young Thug. Yeah, we'll see him soon. Yeah. He gonna be coming home. He, he coming out. He gonna be coming home. He coming out. <laughs> he coming out, and Mar- Mariah the scientist is gonna be right there at the entrance. <laughs> he coming out. He gonna she gonna be right there with open arms. Who? Uh, Mariah the scientist, his uh-huh. girlfriend. Mariah the scientist. Mm-hmm. And Ghana. <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't. I don't think they friends no more, is they? <laughs> he gonna be friends again. <laughs> they gonna be trying to make up with roses. What episode? Oh, 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 with uh, Ghost and uh, his wife and his baby, the girl, the cop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said I seen that episode on Power. See? <laughs> it's a real episode. It's a, a TV show episode, too. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's running out in real life, though. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to, uh, I was going to talk about this Florida situation, but I don't want to get into that because that kind of pissed me off. But what we, happened in Florida? Um, Just real quick. <laughs> a Florida daycare is under fire for sending pictures to parents of their two-year-old child being restrained and fake fingerprinted like Rosa Parks for Black History Month by a white child. In Florida? In Florida. Well, Florida like Mississippi now. <laughs> I mean, 
and you don't let it it is 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 aggravating and pissing off, but you really don't expect much out of Florida. I wish. That's the same state that banned uh Tallahassee Coates books and stuff like that because they don't want the white children to feel bad about being white. I don't care what kind of teacher you is, I don't care what kind of celebration you doing for Black History Month, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. If you send me a picture with my baby, right, playing in fake handcuffs and being fingerprinted, tomorrow that daycare gonna have my name on it. <laughs> tomorrow it will have Coleman's child care on it. Cause yeah. that's what it's gonna be. But they gonna they gonna they gonna yeah they gonna think that they think they can get away with it. It's a teachable moment. Mm mm. Don't teach my child nothing I ain't taught her. It's like Florida, man. I mean, like Mississippi and Alabama and all that shit. Florida just like that. Really, really, I think the South trying to rewind itself. I think they trying to rewind themselves down here. Like, really, pretty soon black folks won't be. I heard, I, you know, you heard the documentary of the guy saying we all need to come back to the South. They trying to prevent that. They trying to make it so uncomfortable that we don't even want to be here. You send me a picture of my child with her hands behind her back. Y'all remember that chair from the Alabama bro? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy Black History Month. There you have. <laughs> you want to be part of black? <laughs> right. Check that out. <laughs> no, do you want to be part of history? Right. Because right. that's what's going to happen. Check that out. <laughs> there you have. Yeah, send, go ahead and send me a picture of my child being treated like Rose Parks. My white child. Yeah. That's the kicker. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, yeah. But we're going to end on a good note. Um, I don't know if you heard about Miss... Her name is Sanaya Garden. She's a D.C. college student. Okay. She was on her way to the grocery store when a homeless man asked her for some green tea. Uh-huh. He said all he wanted was some tea. He didn't want nothing else. Um, coming to find out the homeless man is battling prostate cancer. Uh-huh. So she spent the whole day with him. She went and got his medicine. She went and got him a hotel room and all of that. You know, got him little toiletries or whatever. Uh-huh. And, you know, set him up for the night so he could have food and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Um, this young lady has raised pretty much $100,000 for this man. Really? To get treatment for prostate. Really? Yes. No, I take that back. It's at three hundred thousand right now. Wow. Three hundred thousand. Wow. Three hundred thousand to help this man. And that and she's a college student. Right. She's a college student. She uh, I've been following. You know, I be stalking when stuff like that happen. I be stalking TikTok because right. I want to know what's gonna happen next. Right. But yeah, she went and uh set him up and stuff like that. The next day she went back, she couldn't find him. She went to the hotel, she put him in. He had left early. Uh-huh. So um she went and uh she ended up finding him. The next day she went and bought him a phone, she went and bought him clothes. She's in the um she's in the process of getting him cancer treatment and in the process of getting him housing. So uh-huh. Yeah, hey. we she started with Black History Month, but right. the right. rest of you niggas is on some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, big ups to Miss Sanaya Garden from uh, she's not from DC, but she's a DC college student. That's right. Hopefully, she big can up. get her tuition paid off, cause yeah. I feel like she deserves that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, because she ain't had to take her... She take, have to start a whole new fund me for that, though. Yeah, somebody said that they probably would start another GoFundMe yeah, for her to... Yeah, because if she use his money, they're going to say... Then they're going to start crying like a little girl. Yeah. yeah, so she need to let, let him, that, that money that she raised for him be for him mm-hmm. in any way it can possibly. But yeah, I agree with you. Like, you don't find people to do that often. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Because a bum asked me for some green tea. I'm going to look at his ass like, I don't got none. <laughs> I don't got nothing. Sorry. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> Keep it moving. Now, if I got it, if they ask you for it, I'll give them a dollar so. Yeah. But, but hell, the bums in Atlanta don't ask you for green tea. These motherfuckers ask you for money or beer. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, what you, okay. Right. Well, at least you honest. Right, so, right. I mean, but I ain't got no money for that. But yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> they be like, you got, you got a couple of dollars. I'm trying to give me some beer. Right. Like, no. They, right. Right. Well, you can't. Yeah, you can't blame him for being honest, right? 
Oh, hey, before we go, even though we ain't gonna talk about Megan and Nikki because that's all going in the, in, the, in the thing, but tell me what you was telling me about uh, UMG. UMG Universal Music Group uh-huh. has took their music off of TikTok. Uh. So if TikTok has been kind of quiet lately and you've been hearing more voices than music, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> And who, so and who? allegedly, the reason why it was ticking down uh-huh. is because of the beat between Nikki and uh, Megan. Uh huh. You cannot find any Nicki Minaj music being played right now on TikTok, but you definitely can find Megan's music being played on TikTok. Mm. Who made that call? Jay Z. What do you have to do with this? <laughs> so apparently, allegedly. What you was telling me, Jay Z made a call, made some made calls the call to take the music down, and it's happened. So now all of the artists is under Universal Music Group. Music can no longer be played on TikTok. Then you say they even took down some of the artists' pages. Uh, yeah, some of the artists' pages, because I guess allegedly Taylor Swift is under this Universal Music Group. She used to be. Her page is banned. All her old music. Yeah, her well, page is banned. Um, a few other artists' pages is banned, and their music is no longer on TikTok. Damn, we ain't know Jay Z had it like that. Tragic. Cause you know Megan is under Jay Z. She is, but her music still circling. We can hear hits all day. Wow. <laughs> but we can't hear Bigfoot on Goodfoot or whatever wow. Nicki song is. <laughs> yeah. Y'all ain't know Jay Z had it like that. Jay Z flipped the allegedly, switch. Allegedly, allegedly. He didn't flip the switch. <laughs> he flipped the switch. Oh, oh, you want to talk about digging up mamas, huh? Right. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Let me click on Clay. Let me right. click on crazy. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you want to talk about somebody, mama? I got you. Right. You know, hey. you know, Meg is like our little daughter around here. Right. Right. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. Sometimes you gotta watch out who you have a beef with. You don't know who they connected to and what them people connected to. For real, for real. I get into the music group. I definitely want to be under the what is it, the Illuminati? Yeah. Uh, the well, you think you think about this though. Jay on Live Nation. He out of part of Live Nation. All concerts just about go through Live Nation. So he can say, "Look, you want your you want your people to be able to do concerts. You want your music keep circling, right? <laughs> Forever oh. <laughs> <laughs> on T- all social media T- platforms or, or, or title." <laughs> yeah, choose shit. carefully right yeah. Yeah. next thing you know it's gonna be youtube and facebook and uh, instagram yeah and that's why we ain't play no that's why yeah we that's that. why we didn't play right nikki music this week right because we, we played it a few weeks ago and so we knew better <laughs> to stay up under the radar so we just went back to savage uh-huh. So we're gonna keep it at that. Meg, we love you here. <laughs> <laughs> you alright with us, Meg. <laughs> and we have no issues with you. Here on Miss Communicates po- po- Podcast <laughs> and Miss Radio TV, you is number one. <laughs> right. We have no issues. As my baby say, my baby be like heart. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Meg, we love you. <laughs> all day long. Right. You too, Jay Z. Right. <laughs> right, man. We have no issues and we believe everything you said about Tory. So <laughs> we stand with you. <laughs> we stand with Meg here. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We don't want no issues. We love you too, Beyonce and the Beehive. <laughs> just throw that out there. Love you, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just throw that out there. Yeah, we have no Love you, issues. girl. You did a great job on that tour. Right. <laughs> the Beehive fans is all right with us. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we don't have... So, IG trying to shut down. It's okay, so we about to end the show. I mean, we talked too much about it. <laughs> all, all right, right well, we will see you all next week. All right. All right. <laughs> Bitch, been that bitch, still that bitch. Will forever 
be that bitch. I'ma be that bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm really? the hood, Mona Lisa. Break a nigga into pieces. Had to ex some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza. I'm way too exclusive. I don't shop on Insta boutiques. All them little ass clothes only fit fake booties. Bad bitch, still talking cash shit. Pussy like water, I'm a mother and relaxing. I would never trip on a nigga if I had him. Bitch, that's my trash. You the maid, so you bag him. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. Hacking, stupid, what's happening? Bitch, what's happening? Bitch.